What's up? It's John. Smoke some pipes occasionally. Just been um, to my local tobacconist. Which is Termius Tobacconist in Chester. And just thought I'd do a quick haul type video from the inside of my car. Um, so let's crack right on into it. Uh, Got a shitload of tobacco, so run through that. The first one is Rattray's Hello the Wind. Um, basically, wanted to get a good selection of different tobaccos, different styles of tobaccos to test and see how they went. So, there's Rattray's Hello the Wind. This one. Next one is. Peterson's old perfect plug. So that's the second one. There. Um, again, I'll probably do a video kind of reviewing each one separately, but we'll get to that when we come to it. Next one. This one I haven't really heard of, but we'll see if it's any good. This is Ashton Smooth Sailing. So it says. Uh, pleasantly palatable and wonderfully smooth. This aromatic mixture is slightly nutty, boasting flavours of maple, coconut and dark chocolate. So, it sounds... It sounds alright, to be honest. Um, not... I'll smoke any kind of tobacco, really, but I'm more of a English smoker, but, as I say, I will smoke anything. Um, got this little sucker. A... Dialed Zippo Pipe lighter, excuse my nails, a bit long But, I dropped it, excellent um, Yeah, so, Zippo Pipe Lighter um, At the minute I've been lighting my pipes with These little disposable suckers um, Which is working well, not getting any taste of any fluid or anything, so it's working good in that sense. Um, next is Mac Baron Virginia Flake. Um, again, as I say, I just wanted to taste a load of the different. What's this car doing behind me? You're just coming into my spot. Excellent. Okay. Um, as I say, wanted to test out a load of different ones, so the old Virginia Flake is a uh, good one. I'm just going to pause this while this guy pulls in one. Alright, back and I am... Um, a little pipe may as well, why not? Um, this is my Viking Classic. Uh, and just a great little smoker, cheap. And try to use when I'm driving. Um, and this fucker's gone out. And, uh, yeah, great little pipe. Um, fucking hell. No, right. upwards and onwards. As I say, not used to, um, talking to a camera, so when that guy pulled in, thought it was just easier to show it off and then try and mix these together in post, but we'll see how that goes. Next, and this is actually what I'm smoking now, I thought I'd crack it open and give it a go, is the world famous Orlick Golden Sliced. Um, this has been praised by a lot of people, um, thought I'd try it, and so far. It smells really nice, by the way, it smells fucking delicious. But, yeah, so far, smoking really nice. Don't know how far we got on this one, but yeah, that was what I was talking about before that guy pulled in. The old Virginia Flake. We just want to try loads of different types of uh, tobaccos. So, like, try and kind of, like, in a sense of back to basic, like, right down to the roots of what... Back again. Sorry about that. Um, phone memory. Recording this on my phone, so... 
memory went flat to delete a shitload of videos. So, I think we got finally got finished talking about the Virginia Flake. There you go. Virginia Flake, just want to try a load of different types of tobacco back down to the basics. So, back down to the original tobacco, not flavoured, just it's Virginia. That's what it is. Next, um, as I said earlier, a fan of English tobaccos, love the nicotine in them. So, what better than... Our old friend, Dunhill Nightcap, I've been smoking um, early morning smoke and really fucking enjoy that. Love how mellow it makes you feel, mellow tasting, just tastes like earth, it just tastes fucking great tobacco. So, hey, Dunhill Nightcap, rich flavoured smoking mixture for the evening with its period of relaxation and leisure, which that won't be getting smoked in the evening, on the way home from work maybe. Uh, what else have we got in this bag of goodies? Dr. Plum's um, pipe cleaners. Alright, down to the last three items. Um, one is, this was just compliments of the tobacconist, which is why go to your local tobacconist, because that will give you deals, they are great. Especially when you buy shit like this in bulk. Um, I think this was um, Cuban Flake, looks like 25 grams, maybe, maybe a bit less than that, actually. 20 grams, maybe, of, um, I think it was Cuban Flake, um, some sort of flake. On the house, can't really complain. I'll give that a smoke. Let know, let you know how that is. And this one, <laughs> this is uh, something that they were in the shop. They were talking about um, when um, I was in there, and they were all just like having a conversation about it. And basically, what this is is um, is. They were talking about it, talking about the uh, guy who works there, him making it um, for the Christmas period. As I record this, it's the 20th of November, I think. So we're talking about him making this. This is Christmas pudding flavoured tobacco. And let me tell you, it smells fucking nice. I will, um, he said to let it, um, you know, keep it in a container for a bit, let it marry together because he made it literally there and then. It was the first batch of the festive period. Um, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that in a container, uh, let it marry for a couple of weeks, and then I will taste it and record a video, let you know how it tastes. Right, last item in the bag is... Just gave me it in this box, but it is... Yeah, I'll... Nording, it's kind of like a squashed tomato type rustic bulldog. I mean, look at the size of that. That bowl, huge. Oh, well, huge, good size. But this just felt felt superb in my hand when I picked it up. Just nice, semi heavy, not heavy, but just kind of heavy enough to where you know it's there. Um, oh, oh, hello. Oh, good heavens, hello. So, that is the pipe that I got. Which I am looking forward to smoking. Handmade by Eric Nording. That's a lovely pipe, look at that. It's really nice finish on it, really nice. So, probably have my first smoke out of that later tonight. Um, may record it, we'll see how the shit goes, because I've got to go from here to work, and then finish work, and by that time it'll be dark, I mean, got the I'll light in the car, but it might just be a bit too dark to film. So I'll let you know how that goes. Um, but, yeah, um, in terms of this video, I think nothing else in there, is it? Oh, let me just, where's the receipt in my wallet? Let me just get that sucker out. Okay, just tell you how much all of this shit came to. 
all together. Here you go. That's, where, that's where we got it from. The Alternative Tobacconist in Chester, which, um, if you don't know, um, there's one in London, one in Chester, and one in Liverpool, and they run from the website um, Cigars Limited. So if you go to the letter C, um, Gars Limited, uh, they own a load of stores across the UK, and this is one of them. But in all in all, it came to that much. That's one, I don't know whether this, that was backwards to be honest, anyway, £182.52, and pence, which I wouldn't be able to do except for it's payday, so pretty much every payday I've had working at my new job of, uh, well, since I started smoking pipes, just gone there, bought a new pipe, um, last time it was Church Warden that I may do a review on, um, don't really like it, but I may do a review on it, um, but... Yeah, so every payday I've been going back there, but this is the most I've spent. Um, but it's fucking good, isn't it? Christmas coming up, so that was my early Christmas present to myself. And um, as I do a review on all this stuff, but uh, in terms of this video, thanks for watching. I've been John, um, I'll post this, and I hope you've had a fucking brilliant time watching it. Thanks. Bye.